What's up, people? It's your girl Nancy, the real gossip queen. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. So, our Nollywood finest actor, Frederick Leonard, is finally married in a star studded wedding, a ceremony that had in attendance so many celebrities like Destiny Etiko, Tana Adilana, Mary Lazarus. <laughs> Mary Igwe, and not excluding the beautiful stand-up comedian, the wonderful Real Worry Pekin, Junior Pope John Paul, amongst others. Okay, so, but beyond that, why many people are wishing them happy married life and some others are afraid the marriage may not last considering the high rate of divorce in celebrity marriages recently? I have carefully studied the both partners involved, putting into consideration their family background and all, I can categorically tell you that their marriage may not last for these reasons if not put in check. Before we continue, welcome to my YouTube channel guys. If you're new here, you are highly welcomed. Please kindly subscribe, I beg you, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more updates. Although some people may disagree with what I want to say, but the honest truth remains that this may happen if both of them do not make the right sacrifices for peace to reign at some point. I am not a witch. I do not wish them bad. Having been a fan of them for some time now and having made my research, these are my reasons why their marriage may not last. The number one reason is that he is too handsome. And most handsome men tend to be so full of themselves because he is admired by many with lots of women trooping into his DM and so many of them begging to be his lover. He may start feeling he is actually doing Peggy a favor by marrying her. It will get worse if he doesn't keep his ego in check. He even made a statement like that in this video. That I'm not just good looking. I'm a superstar, and I'm one of the finest men in Africa. But, but that also means that I have been with all kinds of women. But in the oh, I'm late! Stop! I'm late! Go! People are praying, Lord, husband. Good. You have. I uh, uh, didn't anyhow. Uh, husband, go. I'm late. Husband, no data. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> husband, no data. But you did. Babe, go now. Mm. Babe, I miss you. Miss you what? I want to go. Where are you coming I'm back? I'm late. Oh, when stop. are you coming back? <laughs> when are you coming back? Babe, now. There, there'll be traffic. You make me go late. Come on. I'll, ah. I'll send a private jet. You can hear him saying, husband, no day town. That means there are no men out there to marry women. He is already feeling he is doing Peggy a favor by marrying her. From these videos, you can see he has started saying that I know some people may say it is self-confidence, but I see it as pride. But notwithstanding, he should put both his pride and self-confidence in check if he wants his marriage to work. Number two reason is that he is from Anambra State and no matter how we want to paint it, it is kind of hard to see an Anambra man marry a woman from other states like Imo, not to talk of another tribe entirely without the interference of nosy family members who might make life a living hell for the bride. I know she handles the family members with wisdom and understanding and at the same time be ready to fight Sha otherwise they will frustrate her till she runs out of that marriage. The third reason is that he meets and have all sorts, caliber and class of women all over the world throwing themselves at him. I know a friend of mine who says she will give up anything just to have a night with Freddy even as a married man now. The level of temptation he will be facing on a daily, if not well handled with the grace of God, may be the undoing of their marriage. I just hope he shames his third leg and know the difference between bachelorhood and marriage. The fourth reason is that Frederick Leonard seems to be the over-controlling type. Most women don't really live happily with over bossy men. These 21st century wives want their opinions to be heard. In fact, they want their opinions to be valid and Frederick doesn't seem like someone who don't cross that line? She even confirmed it in this video. Well, Frederick is Frederick is my best friend. 
even though it can be very controlling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Frederick loves me. The fifth reason is that Peggy seems to be a woman with high tastes. She's a woman of class. This is good, but should be in check to avoid overbilling her husband or trying to live above her income to the point of collecting from other men to maintain her status quo. When she was a spinster, this wouldn't be a problem, but now she is married. She should know when to adjust to avoid cheating on her husband or sleeping around just to enjoy life. My reasons regardless, I know marriage is fun but requires a lot of dedication and commitment from two matured minds to work. Frederick Leonard and his wife Peggy Oviri are partners with great personality and I hope this will be evident in their marriage. I wish them well. If you have watched up to this point, thank you so much. Please kindly like, share and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay beautiful and have a nice day. Love you. The ocean. We just head out. You know, so it promises to, you know, be an exciting, exciting day. You know, so Mrs. Leonard is looking all from the and stuff. Uh-uh, that's what I'm about to do. Uh-uh, I'm sorry.